Hello, new creation, sons of God, people from God's household, the ones that He knew us, He knew us before the creation of the world, before the first Genesis, He knew us. He prepared us to be manifested in these end times with a purpose to show His goodness and kindness and the glory of His grace manifesting over the creation as the new creation is the crown, the chief work of our Father already prepared for in Christ Jesus. How beautiful, how awesome it is what He's doing. And we went in the last few sessions through this new creation description, if you want. And yes, homework. <laughs> Just um, go through them again, starting with the tent of God. I go through every single one. So new and so different even of what we understand here now in these bodies. We do understand this beginning, the dawn of the A day. But there's so much more. And uh, we we have a couple of more that are really they they blew my mind. Um and I do have a new mind, but it's it keeps changing. <laughs> it keeps changing. It's something so much more. So we are in Revelation chapter 21, and we talked already of the reversal somehow, the rolling up of the first day of creation. The, it said, let it be light. And now the God and the Lamb are the light. We are the light. We are in Him and we are the light. And the light is not spoken to exist, but the light is. And uh, we continued verse 24 in it brings nations. <laughs> Where are the nations? Well, on the new earth. <laughs> it says, The nations shall walk by means of its light. Yes, we will be the light of the nations. Remember Isaiah? <laughs> says, I'll make you the light of nations. The kings of the earth bring their glory into it, into the city. The kings of earth bring their glory. And its gates shall by no means be locked during the day. For night shall not be there. It gets rid of night. <laughs> wow only they they shall bring the glory and the honor of the nations into it now what does it mean for the new creation that the gates shall by no means be locked during the day for night shall not be there. Remember in John 11, Jesus is teaching us and the disciples 
about the hours of the day and the hours of the night. See, this is still as we are growing into this. As this, uh, as he was looking and was teaching us because there was a night and there was a day. <laughs> and as we look in there, um, in John eleven nine, Jesus answered, Are there not twelve hours in the day? If anyone walks in the day, he does not stumble, because he sees the light of this world. Hmm. The light of this world is the daylight. But if one walks in the night, he stumbles because the light is not in him. And he presented this before when we were talking about the external light and the internal light. External light being when circumstances are matching. It's green light all the way. External night is when none of the circumstances are matching and everything, every sign seems to be against you doing something, going somewhere. But the internal light is a knowing inside the will of my Father is inside me. And what Jesus is teaching the disciple is that he always had the light on the inside, no matter what was outside. No matter people liked him or didn't like him, people received him or didn't receive him. It was about Lazarus and um, Everybody was expecting him, if you want to heal him, you go before he dies. And Jesus is waiting. Three days, the fourth day goes, because he was going by the inside light. The inside light is always the will of the Father. If there is inside, it's not, it's not clear. If your heart is closed towards something that's night inside, then don't go. Even if outside circumstances look perfect for you. No. Mm -mm. So, what does it mean that there is no more night? <laughs> it means that the outside light which all things are clear, circumstances outside, the green light, is matching the inside light all the time. That means you are always in the will of God. That's the new creation mindset. New creation walk means that we always walk in clear light. Because the light is matching. There is no more night. There is no more night. We are always in the clear with the Lord. Always in the clear. This is what we call to become the will of God. Remember, we are the light. <laughs> we are the will of God. The will of God is not on and off. It's not night or day. The will of God is always on. And this is the new creation will. It's always on. So, very special, isn't it? There is no more night in that new creation 
reality. No more night. Just look at these circumstances. Look at your life. And as a new creation, you are changing. <laughs> you are making light where there is no light. Powerful. So back to the nations. Now we talked about because they are going to come and bring their glory. The kings of the earth. They all are serving God because they are all coming and bring their glory into the city. So, yes, the New Jerusalem somehow is connected with the new earth. It's connected to the earth with those nations. And he says in verse 27, there shall positively not enter it anything unclean and he who makes an abomination lie except those written in the scroll of the life of the lamb so if the kings of the earth are going to come in that means they are part of this um, scroll of the life of the lamb by the way this is a new scroll Remember the old creation was rolled up as a scroll? Now this is a new scroll that's opening up, which is the life of the Lamb. This is a scroll of life. Beautiful. <laughs> Deep, isn't it? <laughs> so, um, yes, it is a new earth. Not not quite sure how that relates with our time on earth now because the world lays in the evil one and uh, babylon is still i mean it's judged but it, it's it's not down yet it's not destroyed yet and we will have something to say in the name of the Lord to the destruction of Babylon but this is still a mixed environment out there how how is this um, um, pertaining to us the closest I can explain this now is this you listen you hear this sphere of existence as we walk in a place there is a sphere of life and a sphere of light that surrounds us everything in that sphere is absolutely clean and belongs to the new creation outside it's the world but wherever I walk I create this fear this fear is increasing increasing I do believe that it's gonna grow so big when the oneness of the new creation reality it's big enough it's growing this one mind in one agreement that it's gonna destroy everything that's out there that's not of the light <clears throat> but as far as I am concerned I'm walking always in the light as he is in the light first John chapter 1 if we walk in the light as he is in the light we have fellowship with one another I'm increasing the sphere by connecting with the sphere of the light you walk in and we together walk in the light this is fellowship in the light of the saints of a new creation 
This is Celebration City. <laughs> this is the place of gathering. It's in the light. There is not even a thought. It's not even a, an evil thing that can even penetrate this fellowship of light, the sphere of light and life. And we walk together in this. I know you can see it. And I know it's um, increasing <laughs> how I love this new creation <laughs> series, the new Genesis. It's so powerful. Um, well, we're still kind of touching it. I feel like some things are before their term, before their time. We speak them, we bring them in, and as People are going to listen to this more and more. They're going to enter in. Because the time, it's close. <laughs>